I know you told me your name, but I've been meeting Sarah. everybody. Sarah? Sarah. Okay. So, um, okay, Sarah. God loves you. He loves you. Sarah, he really loves you. You need to know he really loves you. He accepts you. He loves you. That's the word I have for you is he loves you. I don't know if that makes sense to you. But I feel that, that you needed to be told that today. God loves you. He loves you as a daughter. You are precious to him. You needed to know that today. You're not forgotten. You're not forsaken. Release your love, God. That she would know it in a deeper way. More. More. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He accepts you the way you are. He says, come to me as you are. He's not ashamed of his daughter. He's got a plan and purpose for your life. Come on. The Lord, the enemy has robbed your peace. I command it out. And I release God's love right now in Jesus' name, Lord, that you'd heal her soul. He bindeth up the broken heart. I don't know what is, I don't know you. I don't know the whole, your whole story. But he told me when I, we started praying, to tell her I love her. We bring all our problems to him. We don't all, we want him to fix things, but sometimes he just wants you to know that he loves you. Father God, heal her. Heal her soul. There's an outpouring of the Holy Ghost right there. Thank you, Jesus. More. From the top of her head to the soles of her feet, we command healing of her body, Lord. This uh, sickness, this uh, allergy, this uh, immune uh, disorder, I command to leave her right now in Jesus' name. We say get out in Jesus' name. We say get out in Jesus' name. All of it. Get out in Jesus' name. More. At least the fire of God right now in Jesus' name. Deep, deeper and deepest, in the deepest parts. Release God's peace right now to flood over her. We command every bit of pain, every bit of itch to go. We command the skin to be healed, the body to be healed, the hormone levels to be healed. And have you put your hand on your tummy, okay? And we command in the name of Jesus... Right. her belly to be healed in Jesus name the, the gut she called it 
that it be healed in Jesus' name, that the intestines be healed, the proper pH balance, any sickness in there, I command you out. I speak life into her belly. It says that we there would be flow a river of living waters, yeah. right? Coming forth out of our belly. Father God, that you'd fill her with the living waters. Whenever your tummy starts to bother you, take praise and put the praise. Sing it out of your mouth, hallelujah. But put the praise coming from your belly where it hurts, and you'll see the pain lift and leave. Good word. Okay. God inhabits the praises of his people. As you praise, and you can you can use your imagination to place it there. You'll see God's wave of glory will flood that area and destroy that pain. So right now I just speak peace. We command every bit of pain to leave. Every plan of the enemy has had over Sarah's life, I cancel it right now in Jesus' name. I command the electrical and the magnetic fields to come back into harmony and balance once again. I command every intestine to go back where it belongs, everything to shift and move, everything to untwist, and that proper flow would happen. And any parasitical thing or anything that the enemy has placed in her belly, we command out now. And I say freedom in Jesus' name. Freedom in Jesus' name. Bless her, bless her husband. Bless their family, God. What are you feeling right now, Sarah? You feel like you're warming up. It's hard to say. Yeah, That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. You don't have to answer. You just let the God do his work. He's touching you though right now. I see him standing right before you. Ah, I see him putting his hands on your hand. There it is. Thank you, Jesus. He loves you. Thank you, Lord. Bless her and keep her, God. Bless her family, her kids. Release your angels to keep watch over this family, Lord. Mm. Poor kids. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that is an old boy. <laughs> <laughs> so we thank you, God. Many blessings in Jesus' name. I'm keeping my hand where it's at right now because it's, it's getting hot. Right there. I don't know if you can feel that. I feel it hot in your hands on my chest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really hot. So we just speak healing and peace and hope and love and joy in the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. I'm going to say no more pain and no more sorrow. No more pain and no and more sorrow. Glory to glory. Glory. Yes, in Jesus' name. Come on. Ah. Mm. Thank you, Lord. The second chapter is finished. Yes, in Jesus' name. Wow. You know, God never said that our walk would be easy. He's never said it would be easy. He said, pick up your cross and follow me. Come on. But he also said that my yoke is easy. Uh -huh. well, what the, what is he talking about? As you walk in, in the things of God, as you do his will, it'll become easy. Father God, take her by the hand and lead her. God loves you so much. Just keep your eyes on the prize. No matter what you go through, 
be stubborn about it. I'm keeping my eye on Jesus, and he's going to carry me through. And he will carry you through. He was a man of sorrows. He was acquainted with grief before we ever were. It said that when he was on the cross, it said that his heart melted within him. I can't imagine that. So he knows where you've been. You haven't been a place where he hasn't already gone. And he knows how to get you out of your situation. He will make a way. He is the way maker. So I, breath, I, I bless you in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God.